Hi everyone, welcome back to the Declarative Academy. Today, we are tackling a deceptively short but game-changing trailhead module called Create Record Types. Fire up your trailhead playground, settle in, and let's do this together. Here's what you'll be able to brag about by the end of this video. You'll know exactly what a record type is. You'll build two of them, product support and inquiry, trim their pick lists so agents see only the options that matter. Sound good? Let's roll. Quick concept check. A record type is like a recipe card for Salesforce. It pairs the right business process, page layout, and pick list values so users get an experience that fits the job they're doing. At AW Computing, reps juggle deep dive product issues and simple customer inquiries. Separate record types keep those workflows clean and prevent irrelevant fields from cluttering the screen. All right, launch to open your playground if it isn't already. From setup, head to the object manager, then look for and select case. On the left, find record types. Now, click new. We're cloning from master, so leave that as is. For the label, type product support. Then choose product support process from the support process dropdown. Toss in a quick description, something like record type for product support cases. Make sure active is ticked. Click the make available checkbox so every profile gets the goods. Hit next, keep, Apply one layout for all profiles. Because we're keeping it simple, pick Case Layout and click Save. Your page reloads. Nice. Scroll to pick lists available for editing and click Edit beside the type field. Hold Control or Command and highlight Mechanical, Electrical and Structural. Tap the left arrow to boot them out. That instantly narrows the menu to just what product support agents need. Click Save and that's it. Record type one, complete. Next, we're building the inquiry record type next. Still on record types, click new again. The template stays master. For the label, inquiry. Support process, inquiry process. Description, record type for inquiries. Same drill, active, make available to all profiles. Next, accept the single layout, case layout, then save. Now, tweak the type pick list. Click Edit, select product specifications, shipping and warranty, move them left, and save. And there you have it, two record types done. So, what did we learn? Record types slice complexity by pairing the right process, layout, and pick list for each scenario. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Declarative Academy for more Salesforce tutorials and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Until next time, happy trailblazing.